Hello everyone, Karnasa here and welcome to Coming Home, the new series on my channel where we're going to be exploring the Beyond Home Planet Pack. This is going to be episode zero and what we're going to be doing in this is going through a few of the mods that I'm going to be using for this series, give you a little bit more background information on what I want to achieve and how we're going to go about doing that and maybe we'll even manage to squeeze in our first launch. But with that being said, let's get to Road, let's get to the Space Center, and let's really delve into this new series. Here we are at the Kerbal Space Center on Road, 8 billion years into the future. To start off, I want to talk about some of the major mods that I'm going to be using for this series. And unlike Kerbal Gets Real, I am going to include a CCAN mod pack for this. Just bear in mind, there are four major mods that I'm going to be using that aren't going to be included in that. And they are going to be Beyond Home itself, Parallax, Copernicus, and Conformal Decals. If I've set this up correctly, there will be a link to the CCAN mod pack in in the description of this video. Let's move on now to some of the major mods that I am going to be running for this series. Obviously first we have Beyond Home which is going to be the planet pack. I am going to be running Parallax for those beautiful ground texture shaders. I'm going to be using the Umbra Space Industries suite of mods for life support and for colonization purposes. We're going to be using Interstellar Extended as well as the near future suite of mods. We're going to be using extra planetary launch pads to actually build craft off world. And then there are a whole host of part packs that I have also downloaded to give me as much choice as I possibly can when it comes to building some epic craft in stock-ish KSP. We're still going to be using Kerbalism Science on this save. Unfortunately, I can't use the entire Kerbalism if I wanted to play with USI. I have had to just restrict myself to the science. We are also going to be using Kerbal Construction Time, as you can see in the top right. And one other mod that I am very excited to play around with is Research Bodies. If I come over here, you can see we have an observatory. What this means is that despite being able to see Lua, all the way over there. We don't know anything about it. We have to research it. If I just jump into the tracking station now, we can see that the only planet that we have information on, the only celestial body that we have information on is Road. We don't know anything about Lua. We can't go over and select it, anything like that. What we're going to have to do is we are going to have to send up satellites with telescopes so that we can actually research the other celestial bodies in this system. As it's a new planet pack that I've never played before, it'd be a really interesting way, a really fun way of actually discovering the other bodies in the Tempest system. Now with all of that being said, I think it's time to jump into the vehicle assembly building and actually design our first rocket. So I am playing with probes before crew. Our first launch is going to be a Probo Dobo Dyne launched on top of a single solid rocket booster. It's going to be simple. We don't need it to be anything more than that. What we're going to try to aim for is just get as much science as possible and actually fulfill the first launch contract. Nothing more than that. So I am playing on career mode. I did put this to a vote over on the Discord if people wanted to see this in career or science. And career won by a landslide. So it is going to be career. Now I'm just going to whack some conformal decals on. I spent quite a long time coming up with names for these first kind of rockets and actually creating a decal for the space agency. And we are going to be RPSA. And that does stand for Road Planetary Space Alliance, which you're going to see any minute now. There we go. I do have a full decal for that. And I was kind of pleased with how these turned out. <laughs> Probably throughout the series, I'm going to try and design flags for each mission that I do just so everything looks a little bit cooler. But there we go. That is our first rocket for the series completed. Like I said, it's going to be very simple. This is going to be Harpy One, and we are going to go and launch this now. During this launch, I do want to talk a little bit about the goals and the aims of this series, as well as delve into a little bit of the background. We are on road 8 billion years into the future, and Kerbal Kind did manage to escape the dying Kerbal. Now, after many, many years, we have once again gained the technology to be a spacefaring civilization. That's right, we are going to be the Road Planetary Space Alliance, and the goal is, of course, it's coming home. So, we want to do pretty much exactly the opposite of what the Beardy Penguin did in his Beyond Kerbal series. We are now on a different star system. We want to return to Kerbal and we want to colonize. And that is exactly why I'm going to be using the USI suite of mods. I have a target in my sight. 
Around Janus, which is Jewel, we have Tau, which is the Beyond Home equivalent of Lathe. What I want to be doing is to set up a permanent self-sufficient colony over on Lathe. That, I think, is the main goal, and that's why we're going to be coming home. But obviously, along the way, there is much exploration to have. We have an entire new star system to delve into, and from what I know, it is going to be very, very exciting. Lynx has done an absolutely fantastic job with these planets. There is a lot to be explored, and we are going to try and delve into as many secrets of this star system as we possibly can before even attempting to come home. But that is going to be the main and final goal of this series. That's right. We're going to go back to Kerbal, and we are coming back to stay. There we go. That was the first successful launch of this new series. And we can see that we have actually gained 19 science. So what are we going to do? We're going to go into research and development and pick up these first two tech nodes. And then that way, when it comes to the actual proper first episode, which will hopefully be coming very shortly, we can actually go and make our first orbit, hopefully within the first launch. But obviously, that will come in the next episode. That is going to be the end of this episode. Like I said at the beginning, all I wanted to do was give a bit of background information, go through the mods and highlight some of the aims of this series that I hope to achieve. If anyone has any recommendations or anything that they want to see in this series though, please do go and drop those in the comments. I'd love to see what people want to actually see from this series. Obviously, I have my own goal set in my mind, but if there is anything that anyone does want to see in this series, please do drop those in the comments. Yeah, I would like to have a bit of input on what people would like. That is the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed it, why not give it a like if you have really enjoyed it and would like to continue with the content on my channel. And of course, keep up with this brand new series. Please do consider subscribing. I have been Karnasa, and I will see you later. Later.